Peace. Salam, family. It's your brother, Cool. Happy holy day. So, now mind you, this video is going to be followed up by PowerPoint presentation that is very much needed. It's a lot deeper than what the title is going to be specified, but it's dealing with an issue that I feel like a lot of people have confused, and we need to straighten it out before we move any further, before we move uh, further. You know what I'm saying? And it's the issue with um, the misinterpretation. The misinterpretation that people think that black and Negro means more. Or that more means black. So, what I want to do is, because black is a color, aka a shade, alright? When you're dealing with when you deal with mores, now we're talking about et etymology, right? We're talking about etymologically. Because black don't go past the 11th century. 11th century meaning the 11th hundreds, okay? Columbus came in the 14th, I say like uh, pretty much going into the 15th century, 1492, okay? So that's four years before the 11th century that's as far back as the term black as we know it today goes b-l-a-c-k the etymology and true definition of black is high german okay and the etymological meaning is pale and shiny okay moors are not pale and shiny Moors are dark-skinned peoples, not black, okay? You got to understand the difference because black does not have origins in peoples. Now, mind you, I'm not talking about if we're having a private conversation amongst each other. Amongst each other, we give meaning to whatever those words are. Okay, so amongst each other, in a private capacity, I don't have the issue. Talk with my brothers and sisters black. Yes, we the black, we the black cream of the crop. We the black man, you know what I'm saying? Privately though, not publicly, not in the world. Because black has no standing in law. All right, so it has nothing to do with us privately. And this is where we got to get out of our emotions. We got to understand that there's two things happening. What's happening between us privately and what happens in the outside world publicly. All right. And in the public, in the, in the public. Now, there's laws governing both worlds. There's laws governing the private world and then there's laws governing the public world. OK, the difference is you have a direct control over what laws you'd establish in that private realm. That's the difference. In the public realm, those laws have been established since immemorial, meaning there's no birth date, meaning those laws and principles come from an ancient of times. Okay? That's known as the Constitution and Treaties, all right, which are glued together. They're like the right cheek, they're like the left and the right butt cheek. The Constitution and Treaties come together like butt cheeks. Okay? So, understanding that. Damn, made me lose my train of thought. Um, understanding that, all right, Moors are dark-skinned peoples. We have origins in peoples. We are people. We are not persons, okay? In law, if you go and look up the SF-181 form or you have a look at the uh, SS-5 form from the Social Security Administration, okay, you will see that when you look at the races and how they're defined, meaning uh, 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 American Indian, meaning uh, Asian, meaning Black African American, uh, Hawaiian, and white, you will find that of all the classes, right, Black slash African American is the only one that doesn't have origins in people. No people. What you mean no people? No people, yo. Just persons. You know what persons fall under? Persons fall under the 14th Amendment. So people are have supposed to have um possession of persons meaning your straw meaning your trust whatever entity you have your business is your person literally 
like if I'm the owner, like I am the owner of uh, Cool Breeze, right? That's my music production trust. I, okay, <clears throat> I am the owner of Cool Breeze. I'm doing business as Cool Breeze. You understand what I'm saying? So, made me forget my train of thought again. It's all right though, it's gonna spiral back around. But let's keep going. Persons, right? So, I, cool, um, cool Mare Su L, right? Appropriate persona, am flesh and blood being. I have a person. That person is called Cool El Breeze. Okay? So, what you gotta comprehend is that flesh and blood beings are in possession of persons because there is no gold and silver in circulation. If there was gold and silver in circulation, there'd be no need for the 14th Amendment, which we got to realize at the time that when the prophet was still alive, right? The 14th and 15th Amendment, for one, wasn't in existence when he was alive. I'm sorry, no, yes they were. The 14th and 15th Amendment were in existence when he was alive. That's one. But two, they were still utilizing gold. You know what I'm saying? The profit passed in 1929. The gold didn't get taken out of the banks until 1933. You know what I'm saying? That's still another four years. And with the more Science Temple being established in 1928, that's five years before the gold was taken out. So, you know what I'm saying? As far as that particular aspect goes, everything was still being functioning constitutionally. How are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, you gotta line up. You gotta line up. And being black doesn't have origins in people. So black don't mean more. Okay? Negro is less offensive than black, believe it or not. Because Negro is still referring to dark-skinned people. The only, the only disability with the term Negro is that, like all, all other things for one, um... The term Negro, which is derived from an original word we made, we didn't make the word Negro as it is today, okay? So we don't have the copyrights to that term, Negro. Not to mention the fact that Negro is not a nationality. Because if you go back to the etymology of the term Negro, which is nigger, nigger is an Ethiopian king, or Naga. You see what I'm saying? Okay, Ethiopian king. Now, an Ethiopian king What's the nationality? Ethiopian. Okay? So now, I get what people are saying, but in the aspect, Negro is not nigger. Or is not naga. It's derived from it. It's not it. Okay? It's not the source. It's coming from the source, and it's a... Uh, how would I say? It's a... It's a crazy ass effect of it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the Yakub experiment. You know what I mean? It's a crazy extraction from the original sense. So, Negro is not Naga. Negro came from the term Naga, which means Ethiopian king, but that's not the definition or the term or the meaning given to the term Negro today. Okay, so Negro is not a nationality. All right, and then you gotta ask, what were we called before the 1500s? Because like I said, before the 1500s, what were we being called? Black only go back as far back as the 11th century. You know what I'm saying? So who were we? What were we being called? So this goes into a lot and it goes into law and how it applies with citizenship and nationality, okay? And rights and duties and obligations, capacities and incapacities. Oh, trust me, this PowerPoint is gonna be deep because I want you to think, have this concept in your mind. You know what a coal is? You use a coal to light a, light a hookah, you use a coal to light a grill, you use a coal to start a barbecue, right? What happens to, when you look at coal, how does it look? It looks black, don't it? Remember what I said though, black means pale and shiny. Black means pale and shiny. So you see a coal, coal is black, right? 
Now, you got to think about the sun. What is the sun? It is emitting heat, right? So what happens when you put coal on fire, right? Wouldn't that be the same as, it, as that coal being exposed to the sun? Right? Right. Okay. So the coal is exposed to the sun. Now, what happens after the coal is exposed to the sun long enough? Or the coal is exposed to the heat long enough? Doesn't it start to turn pale and shiny? Right? Don't it start to turn pale and shiny? Right. So, when you're saying you're black, black does not mean Negro. And Negro does not mean more. Nor does black mean more. More does not have any relation to any of those things. Other than the fact that when in this connotative time of uh, definition for that term, it's trying to reference us, but it's not referencing us as dark skinned people. It's referencing us as black people. Okay? So understand what I'm saying. All right? Get that through your skin. Let that hit the eardrums. And once again, I'm going to follow with the PowerPoint. So check me out on that. Peace.